So about this video, I recently uploaded a video on the best running formation in Men 20 in my opinion and I got a comment from a professional Madden player on there that he runs this formation too and he was willing to give me his full ebook, so his like all of his setups that he's written down for the passing plays out of the far tight slot formation and he gave me the freedom to share them with you so I'm very thankful for this. This is going to turn into a bit of a series. I'm going to do individual videos on each individual play because they are that good and these setups can be very effective. And the, I want to go in depth with these plays because I think that's, think that's important. This is a pro level offense and it's not going to be run uh, efficiently from by you if you don't know all of the intricacies and all of the details of these plays and how they work. Please make sure to go show uh, my guy some love. He did something that is not very common among pro pro professional professional man players. They mostly try to hide their scheme or uh, charge money to get them to reveal the, the stuff that they're doing. He did it for free. He just wanted to shout it and I'm absol absolutely willing to give it to him. All of his links that he's given me are in the description. And the first links, please, please, please make sure to hit him up. He's got a Twitch, he's got a Twitter. Go follow him on both of those platforms. It would mean a lot to me because this means that you enjoy what I'm doing and also what his, he's doing. And supporting the people that help me uh, is very important to me. And I'm very thankful that he did that. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about, this is not a, an easy offense. It's not a simple... It's not... How do you say it? It's not for your beginning Madden player. It's for a bit of a more, more of an advanced player. It's, it can be really effective because, because it's a look that your opponent is probably not going to be expecting. So you can hit him by surprise with it. But it's also a bit more difficult to run than stretch, for example. Stretch, halfback, dive. That's simple to run. That's, an, that's a beginner's offense. I think this offense can be more uh, effective because if somebody has defense for your run game, you're going to struggle to come back in a game. This is something that you have many different setups that can uh, really destroy your opponent. So if you get caught with him stopping some of your setups, just go to another one of the third setups that are going to be all of this formation. So a bit, uh, an, uh, an advanced offense, many different setups to remember. So very important for you to be smart, to know a lot of things about the game. And the reads are also not that simple. So if you do not know, for example, how to put your guy on a slant or how to adjust hot routes in general, this is not the video for you. I'm going to upload videos for you in a few days. Once again, this is a very good offense and I want to show you in depth how to run this offense the best way possible. Let's get into the first play that I'm going to cover in this video, which is going to be X spot. In case I have not mentioned it, I'm in the West Coast Offensive Playbook. It's an alternate playbook. You can also get it in Madden Ultimate Team, of course. And what's good about Ultimate Team, you can get a wide receiver in at either your halfback position or your fullback position. He recommended following people to put in at certain positions. At your fullback, you want Eric Dickerson or a very fast trucking back. Very important, this dude needs to be able to truck. And he would put his wide receiver in at the halfback position, which if you look on the screen right there, the halfback is the number 26 and the fullback is the number 52. I did videos on how to get that, so how to do that in Men Ultimate Team. So I'm not going to redo, re-show you this. I'm just going to link to a video right there in the top right corner for you to watch if you want to know how to do that. Okay. I'm going to put two halfbacks on the field for better catching sakes. And I'm going to select the play X spot. X spot is a an excellent, excellent play if you want to destroy cover three. This is mainly uh, good uh, good against cover three. The first setup, set, uh, the first setup that I want to show you works wherever you're on the field. It can be at the left hash mark, right hash mark, middle of the field, anywhere in between. Does not matter. I'm going to run it uh, first uh, time for to the short side and then to the wide side with the slot receivers to the short side. What that means is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to see it right here. This is short side, and the next thing that I'm gonna show you is wide side. The first setup is fade square, wheel, halfback, and drag X. Once again, if you don't know how to do that, this is not the video for you. I'm going to explain that in the f near future. 
Then we want to motion out Sony Michel, and we get this look. Now we have a bunch to the left side with a wheel route, a corner route, and a streak or fade whatever. It's you get the idea. It's pretty much the same route, so we can put a streak there, a fade there. He told me fade, and I feel like a fade works a little bit better for what I want to do. But the streak is fine too, and we have a backside drag coming over the middle. Now I'm running this against Cloud Flats. Against Cloud Flats to the short side, I would throw the X immediately. It takes way too long for the corner route to get above the Cloud Flats to the short side. So I wouldn't recommend waiting on that. If I see he's running Cloud Flats to the, and I'm running this to the, to the short side, then I would definitely make sure to hit my check down. Now, once again, we can force this in there kind of like, but it's not what you want to do in my opinion, to the short set, if you have the tight slots to the wide side, which I'm going to show you right here, it can work better. I think in this case you should try it, so the short side I just feel a bit more, a bit uncomfortable throwing it, just from the experience that I've gained running this formation. Right here we can wait on it, and we waited a little bit too long right there, the pressure got to me. I'll attempt this one more time, and then I'm going to show you a nice little detail. That can be a nice wrinkle for your offense. Just one more thing that your opponent has to defend out of this setup. Against Cloud Flats, once again, I'm going to make sure to get enough time on this one. Pass lead to the outside, and the corner route gets butt naked. Even more wide open than we had it going to the short side. Now, if I run this play to the with the tight slots to the wide side, then I have a nice little, uh, nice little dot for you. A quick dot against someone who's pressuring you heavily out of the cover 3 set. You want to quickly throw the square route and possession catch. Very important possession catch because otherwise he's going to drop it. Right here, we're just waiting right here. And then, nice, easy, quick pass with a possession catch. Pretty much a guaranteed completion. Watch out for the user. That's the only thing. The whole play drifts to the uh, left side of the field in this case. So make sure to watch out for the user. If the user does not cover it, it's a nice, easy completion. This is the first setup. Let's get quickly into the next one. The next setup offers kind of like a gun bunch mesh post look. And it's all. it can also be run from anywhere on the field. Right here, it, with this setup, it really doesn't matter uh, where you are at on the field. It works wherever you are. Just need enough room to get the route open that we want to get open. Okay. Max protect is the first adjustment, then we're going to drag, square, and streak X. Then we're going to motion snap, Sanu, right here, and we're going to, right there, and we're going to read between the drag and the post route. It's a very simple read, just go throw to uh, the one the user, user doesn't cover. If the user covers the post, then throw the drag, now very important. Don't throw the drag blindly just because you see the user uh, going over to defend the post. Make sure that you're not throwing the drag at a hard flat because that could be really, really scary. It can even re result in pick six. It most likely is going to end up in a pick six. So make sure before uh, throwing the drag to check if you're not throwing it directly at somebody. It's a very simple read. There's not much explaining to do with this setup. I'm going to show you what happens if you... Damn it, I motioned the wrong route. Ooh. Well, let's motion him right back then. We want to motion Sinu. I'll show you, just to make sure that I have hard flats. I'm going to show you what happens if you throw it at a hard flat. Right there. If you have a better linebacker and he clicks on, that's probably going the other way for a pick six. So be aware of that. It's a very simple read. Also a very effective play. So make sure to implement that if you want to run this formation and pass out of it. Nice completion. The last setup that I'm going to show you is a bit of a mix. It's going to be a bit of a mix up from the last two setups that I showed you. Now the last two, the previous setups could be ran from either hash mark, even the middle of the field. This one is exclusively for the uh, tight slots to be to the short side. Let me just clean that up right there. 
So we want to block a triangle, wheel R1, streak X, and in squared. If that was a bit too fast for you, here you can see what the setup is. Now the same motion snap as before. One more read that we can make. The first read for this is always going to be the wheel route. In this case, we get a nice completion to white. This gets very, very open. It's a quick read. So if you get if you get blitzed, just wait two sec two seconds if you can get that time and throw it to white and then make a juke. This is the first read. And then we get into the same read that we did had earlier between the in route and the post route. I'm going to uh, read what the user is doing and then make sure to check whether there's a hard flat or whether I'm th throwing the in route at a zone if he covers the post. If he obviously jumps down to the in route, that is obvi obviously then going to be the case in which you throw to the post route. So once again, R1 and then the read between post and in route. A very, very effective play just overall. Right there, low pass, possession catch. Easy, easy, easy completion. The three th setups that I wanted to sh uh, that I showed you. Uh, the first one was this one with the motion out. The second one was the motion mesh post kind of setup. Right there, and then snap the ball. There you go. Check down. Easy. And the last setup only works on the left hash mark. It's a mix up between those two. Damn it, once again, motion the wrong guy. I'm trying to do this a bit too quickly. Once again, go back to Sinu and motion him over. Now, if you stuck, if you uh, stuck with the video until this part, then my channel is probably going to be something that you will be interested in. I'm going to record a, a wager video later today. This is recorded on December twenty twentieth, Friday. So this video is going to be uh, the wager is going to be against a fellow Madden streamer from Germany. So please do make sure to leave and follow then. But this video is on the come up. I'm very thankful if you stuck until this part of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit hit my guy up. His links are in the description first. Two links or three li three links. Make sure to click them. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.